Welcome to Kids Academy. Hello, boys and girls. This is Teacher Mike. And today, I'd like to talk to you about estimating measurement. Now, this is kind of tricky, but it can also be kind of fun. If you can use references from your own life to make estimates or good guesses about sizes, estimating can become a lot more easy and even fun. You can point out different objects in the world and guess the sizes based on your reference estimates. So let's go over what some good estimates for some different sizes are. Let's first talk about one inch. One inch is the size of a bottle cap, like you'd pop off the top of a soda. An inch is really, really small. Can you think of some other things in the world around you that are about one inch? Let's talk about one foot. A foot is about the size of a hammer. Now a foot is 12 inches long. So it'd be like putting 12 bottle caps next to each other. But that's not really a good estimate. Can you think of other objects that are about the length of one foot? A hammer is a good suggestion, but what else can you think of? The last measurement that I'd like to go over is one yard. A yard is three feet long. Now, a good estimate for a yard is about the width of a door, not the height, because you need adults to get in the height of a door, so that's gonna be more than six feet long. The width of a door, meaning how wide it is, or how long it is, is about three feet or one yard long. So when you wanna estimate one yard, Think about the width of a door. Now, let's use these estimates to help us answer the questions below. Let's read the directions in inches, feet, and yards and get started right away. Check the best estimate for the length of each object. Okay, first we have a clothespin and it wants to know the height or the length of this clothespin. It's marked off very nicely for us. So let's look at our answer choices and choose the most reasonable guess. So our first answer choice is two feet. Now think about the size of a clothespin. Now think about two feet. That's like two hammers put right next to each other. Is a clothespin the size about two hammers? Clothespin is way smaller than two hammers. That can't be the right answer choice. Our next answer choice is two yards. Well, if two feet doesn't make sense, two yards can't make sense because that's even bigger. That's like the width of two doors, and a clothespin is tiny compared to that. Finally, we have two inches, or two bottle caps put right next to each other. Does that make sense for the size of a clothespin? I think so. Now, is the clothespin exactly two inches? It might be, but it also might not be. But it's very close, and that's why we call it an estimate. It's like a good guess. So two inches is the correct estimate for our clothespin. Let's take a look at our next object, a dog. We want to know the length of this dog. Well, let's look at our answer choices and see if we can make sense of this. Our first answer choice is two inches. Two inches is going to be way too small because that's just like two bottle caps put right next to each other. I've never seen a puppy that small, even a brand newborn puppy. Two feet. Now that makes a little bit more sense. Can you imagine two hammers? put right next to each other? That is about the length of the dog. So I think that is the correct estimate, but let's look at our last answer choice just to be sure. Again, it's two yards. That would be like the width of two doors put next to each other. That would be one huge dog. So I don't think that's the correct answer choice. The correct answer choice is two feet because the length of a dog is about the length of two hammers. Next, we wanna know the estimate for the height of a house. Now that's gonna be really big. So our answer choice of 10 yards already seems to make sense to me. But let's look at our other answer choices just to be sure. 10 inches, is your house as tall as 10 bottle caps put on top of each other? No way, it's way bigger than that. So 10 inches makes no sense. 10 feet is getting closer. That's like putting 10 hammers on top of each other. Now that's getting big but is it big enough for the height of your whole house? I don't think so. Look at the size of this house. It even has two floors. So the best estimate for the height of this house is 10 yards. 10 yards is really like 30 feet because there are three feet in one yard. So in my best estimate, I think 
If we took the width of 10 doors and put them on top of each other, we would have the height of one house. So the best estimate is 10 yards. Let's take a look at our final object, the length of a couch. Now, have you ever laid down on a couch? Let's think about this reasonably. I am about six feet tall, a little bit shorter, but six feet tall is a good estimate for me. So when I lay down on a couch flat, I pretty much fit perfectly. There may be a little bit of extra room on the end, or I might not have enough room, but it's about six feet. So I think six feet is a great estimate. Six yards is way too long. That's like having the world's biggest couch. And six inches is way too small. You would never be able to fit on that couch. Can you imagine a couch that's only six bottle caps long? I couldn't. So the correct answer choice is six feet because I know that I am six feet and I fit perfectly on a couch. Remember boys and girls, when you wanna estimate measurements, you can use the objects on this sheet to help you estimate. They're great references. But don't be afraid to make your own references to help you estimate. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.